Okay, so as I said before, we've had some really good luck capturing flies in here. And what I've done now, we've been using our fly generator bin there to, to collect flies. And in doing so, the flies have been laying eggs on the meat and uh, we've got a good amount of maggots in there. So here we've got, uh, we've now buried that material in the ground here. Um, so the maggots can go through their life cycle here and hatch as flies. And you can see the flies are loving this. Um, we've got a lot of um, flies coming down here. So they may continue to lay eggs, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this up a bit more just to reduce the smell. And um, yeah, with relatively minimal effort, we've got a fairly good fly population in here. So hopefully this keeps up and I'll still keep an eye on this several times a week. But if all goes well, uh, we're going to get a second flush of flies from this and we'll have to do minimal fly collecting from here on out. So within here, maybe I'll just... Lots of flies in here. It's really good. Um, and these are what these are more of a greenish fly. There, the blue bottle fly is very blue. So this is more of a green, and it may be the green bottle fly. Um, so you can see in here, or I can see, maybe you can't. Uh, lots of maggots in here. So these maggots will pupate, and then they will become flies. So hopefully we can maintain this population with minimal effort. So I'm just going to cover this up a little bit more. And that's actually just to reduce the smell a bit. Because um, we don't want... Um, uh, I don't want to attract uh, uh, coyotes, which live in the area, into here. Because uh, they could damage the mesh. And uh, get in here. So I'm just covering that up. And there's our little fly breeding pen in, in there. And once again, really good success capturing flies. Seeing lots of activity on the umbels in here and hopefully that keeps up.